Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Ack versus Dick. <laughs> um, so what? AC versus DC? That's what I said. How are you supposed to say it? AC really? and DC. Really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will do it your way. <laughs> AC versus DC. So AC for alternating current and DC versus direct current is really the difference between whether or not you have positive on one wire, negative on the other wire, or whether you cycle between the two. Um, DC is what most of your devices end up using. Right, direct. Yep. Um, LEDs have to t actually be powered by DC. Um, most of your computer stuff has to be powered by DC. Even if you plug it into AC, the transformer and the power supply on the inside converts it to DC. And that's because of how all circuitry kind of works. You have, you know, no voltage for for zero and plus five, plus one and a half, whatever for, for a one. And so all of those things work that way. AC is better for motors because... It just is. It works out that by cycling the power, you can move the magnets in a better way, and you're less likely to burn down the house because when you have wires that are in close proximity to each other, they don't leak electrons over and eat through the the cabling and have more chance of burning down. And if you actually touch the wires, DC is more likely to kill you than AC at the same voltage and amperage. But DC is more efficient for the ways that we typically use things in terms of monitors and electronics. So is that why when you touch a 9-volt battery to your tongue? It... <clears throat> well, that would work if it was 9 volts AC as well. It's just that when it's DC, it goes constantly, and when it's AC, it cycles. So for a fraction of a second every second, there is no power on AC. You're at zero because it's going alternating current uh, yeah 60 <laughs> times per second it's going from 120 volts positive to 120 volts negative and some of the spots in the middle there's no power so when you touch it to your tongue you you still die because it's 120 volts ac when you touch it with your fingers <laughs> well not not a nine volt <laughs> battery no no no, no. The, like it, a car it, battery it, i'd understand you no know, no if you touched your tongue to the the prongs on the outlet why the why would you do that? <laughs> We're talking about which was safer. <laughs> no, I didn't say anything about which was safer. Oh, you said why did it do it? So anyway, AC is safer because there are some times when there's no voltage, or if so, you... neither one's better than the other. You wouldn't look at something and say, "No, I need it to be AC versus DC," uh, other than like an inverter that you need to. It's it's really about how you need to consume the power for the devices that you have. It's kind of stupid that you plug the 12 volt inverter into your car to get 120 volts AC to plug into your laptop, right. which is taking 12 volts DC, but right. needs a power supply in order to get there, or you know it's 14 volts or something like that. So you've gone from DC to AC back to DC, but that's what we do. So then why then, it, 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 say this this AA battery, if I stick it in my mouth, it doesn't shock me like the 9-volt battery does. If your mouth was totally full, you might have some chance of doing that, or if, like a liquid. But it's really, that's 1.5 volts, and the 9-volt the battery's 9 it's volts. It's got more juice. So there's more juice to it. So yeah. if I did that to a 12-volt battery, would it sting more? Or it would, would it sting, knock me out? It would sting more. And How, at what point do I get knocked out by licking a battery? <laughs> I, I don't think I want to find out, and probably because it's just going to arc across your tongue. It's right. a very high number because it's going to singe through your tongue first. I don't think I want to know that. that we can set up some experiments. I'm not I'm not really into that. Get the voltmeter, and we'll just keep running it up and see how many volts you can take. Let's not. I, I'll stick with the 9 volt for now. I can yeah. do that. I can handle a 9 volt. Nothing <laughs> burns, really, permanently. Maybe that's my problem. I'm looking too many nine volts. <laughs>